Ah, it appears that the shield is... And of course, Zombie Riot Shield has returned, and as you'll see in a second... Oh, ah, there you go. <laughs> you can actually upgrade it now. Uh, and it looks a hell of a lot sturdier than it was in number two. It's, you know, it was a real shame in number two because... I mean, we all want something that can defend us from the zombies, but the shield in number two didn't seem to last very long. I mean, it was useful, but it wasn't something you could use indefinitely, which I guess for the sake of balance is okay, but for the sake of fun, you know, you wanted something that could withstand quite a lot of zombies, and, and it just wouldn't do that. Whereas in, in Black Ops 3, it looks like that's a reinforced steel door, it looks like to me, and he's upgraded it to put like um, a... <clears throat> gas canisters on it and it's well it's launching him at the zombie crowd straight through them and just well just decimates a horde of zombies so it looks like it could take a lot more damage and does a lot more damage in this game yes i would like some candy now uh, so as you can see the uh, the gumball machine dispenser thing is is actually a main point of Black Ops 3 Zombies and as you'll see in a second so you can activate it and I don't know how you activate it. Is it is it is it based on currency so do you buy it the same way as you buy a weapon uh, it seems to me like well you'll see in a minute why I think what it is but it seems to me like it could be like a, the weapon box because there are multiple colors within the dispenser and well I'm gonna roll it forward a little bit first like possible candy from a baby or without the baby okay so yeah so I'm assuming this is all linked together so he, he's eating the sweet and now the zombies are avoiding him completely so this ties in with the scene that we saw earlier where the zombie seems to be running past that guy um, so these sweets see there's a lot there's a lot to talk about because we know that well it looks from what we saw earlier with the woman it looks like the powers from multiplayer and single player come over so there's there's those powers and then obviously you can upgrade weapons using the pack a punch machine and then you can pick up different melee abilities as well and then now it seems like you can get i don't know is this is this is this the new perk system is this how it works now well that's the thing like we haven't actually seen perks yet that's a good point but is 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 it now um, that you can also have perks and like a bonus ability coming from this uh, sweet dispenser? And do they last permanently, or are they just like you know a bonus round sort of thing? Do they last for a short period of time? Oh, so much to think. so much, so many questions and so many things to think about. Use me with power, then shoo I will. Let's see what this flavor does for me. So as you can see, she says obviously different flavors, um, uh, and we saw different colors there with different patterns on. And I would love to show you in great detail what they are, but I, I just don't think the quality of the footage is. Oh, actually, there you go. Uh, so that's a question mark there. So I'm just curious if they're all random or if maybe this particular ball is random, whereas the other balls have a set. Because like this one has like white markings on it, whereas the other seems to be solid as opposed to stripey so I'm just wondering whether those have set powers and this one can give you a chance of a better power or I don't know if I'm using the word power right maybe it's just a bonus perk anyway Dr. Monty is that relevant I don't know <laughs> what this flavor does for me you guys are too and I don't know what she just did there but she like sort of well first thing to note is uh first thing to note is there's this weapon on the wall it's not coloured in I mean, it's not filled in, so I'm assuming this is quite early in the game. They haven't quite, no one's bought it yet. But then, note when the zombies get to her, she sort of like vanishes in a puff of red smoke. But then the zombies that attacked her initially get just melted or something. They just turn into a, a pile of ashes. So I'm assuming this is another one of those abilities or bonus powers. Too dumb and too dead. Now. I don't know, well, obviously you saw that, but he slides across. So the movement system has improved a little. Well, I mean, obviously 
there's always this is zombies is essentially multiplayer so the the, the mechanics of movement from multiplayer are going to go into into zombies as well but the question is i don't think they have exo abilities so it's just uh maybe it's a slide do they have the rest of the power oh this i need to start finding out what these things are called because I'm, I'm confusing myself but the point is do they have exo movements in this i don't think they would for the sake of um it just it just wouldn't fit I don't think to have uh, exo abilities in this. Oh, that's not good. What it? What, what is that? What on earth? So, this is one of the characters, and it seems like he's mutated or something. And I say it's one of the characters because if we just bring it forward a little bit, he starts attacking a zombie. So it can't be. I don't think this is the point of view of a zombie. This is this is one of the characters, and he's sort of mutated into this tentacle creature thing. And he starts, uh, why well, it starts ripping apart zombies. This shit weird anymore. And then it, uh, it looks like he transforms back, so it's, it's a temporary uh, thing. So possibly from one of the suites. What the hell is that? And it looks to me like, well, I mean, it's a big ass zombie, but it, it seems like this is like a boss. So. I, th I think that's a good thing to introduce because one of the things I felt was lacking in, in, in Black Ops 2 um, was there wasn't really, well not, not lacking, but like it, they could have added like boss fights. I feel like to have to have like a, an enemy that maybe not appears at the end of every round, but like maybe once every 10 rounds or something and you've got to fight this boss, possibly for a nice reward or something, I think that would add you know a new dimension to it so the question is are there is this like a boss boss or is it like a sub boss uh how many are there how tough is it how do you take it out uh you know how early does he appear does he appear randomly i just know this ain't gonna be a fair fight and he looks menacing you got man. my wife beat she only has two reminds me a little bit of a bit like um those crawler gas zombies from black ops one um and then at the same time, it a little bit reminds me of some of the aliens from Extinction in Ghosts. So is it like a... I don't know, maybe they've taken like aspects of, of, of past games and just upgraded them a bit. So as you can see, they're, they're attacking it. And this guy just seems to be shooting at the stomach. So possibly that's a weak spot for this particular zombie. And then he, whoever landed a shot in his face and it's just spewing crap all over the place so maybe that's another weak spot and now we see oh i don't know what that is it's like uh is it an off branch of that zombie or is it another type of zombie so this one's obviously flying it looks like a really hacked off mosquito that has mutated to crazy proportions so i'm just wondering if this is another type of zombie so I've watched this scene a couple of times and I don't really know what's going on. I mean, at first I thought it might be something similar to the, the sweet that the lady ate earlier, the one that turned her into a puff of red smoke. But then, I don't know, because this seems to be a little bit more, like, it looks more like a set piece. So this is like a room, the altar's in the centre, it looks like some sort of a, possibly a ritual or something. But then, is that like part of the story perhaps? Is that why this character, or maybe not a character, maybe this, just, just, this, um, this, I don't know, whoever this person is, is just part of the story and is, is, I don't know, portraying what happens when you do something in the game. <laughs> this person goes into a pile of blood, or goo or whatever, and that does not look like what happened to the lady earlier and as you can see there are candles here and stuff so it seems like it could be some sort of a, a cult ritual or something I don't know and let's just, let's just take it back there I'm going to show you all the characters one more time so you've got this guy this guy oh just missed it. This girl. There you go. Burlesque show. And is that him sitting in the crowd? So maybe, maybe that's how these two know each other. And then you got this guy. 
And if you, well, actually, you can probably see it quite well there, but it looks like the zombie, the zombie boss itself, can also have its limbs shut off. So it's got part of the top part of his face missing there. So maybe that's just a sign of how weak it is at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's it. So we end on that. Pre-order now and get access to the multiplayer beta. Oh, and so I'm just gonna. <clears throat> So as as you can see, the, there is a beta coming, and it's confirmed already, which is surprising to find out this early. So the beta starts on the 19th of August uh, this year, obviously, and this begins on PlayStation 4. And it says at the bottom, beta on Xbox One and PC to follow. Now, I'm assuming, therefore, that means they're going to have a beta, but, I mean... Is it going to follow the same timeline as the DLC? Is it going to be a month later um, for Xbox and PC? Or is it just going to be, like, say, a week or a few days even? Um, so, yeah, there's uh, a bit of small print down here that says the beta begins on the PS4 on the 19th and then PC and Xbox to be announced. Uh, weird date subject, subject to change. So... Yeah, I mean, if you guys aren't on Xbox, uh, aren't on PS4, then you've got even more questions to ask about the beta. But I'm assuming everyone's gonna have a little crack at it because Call of Duty is a pretty big franchise. But obviously, with the with the, um, with the with the partnership deal that Activision have with Sony, PlayStation is is, is obviously going to get the um, first look at it. So yeah, it's just interesting to see when that comes around, and I I'm hoping I get a chance to play it. And I wonder if Zombies is going to be part of it. I mean, they mentioned it at the end of the Zombies trailer, so I'm assuming Zombies is going to... You're going to be able to test Zombies as well. Because, you know, it's a pretty big part of the game. And if they've expanded it as much as it looks like they've expanded it, then obviously they're going to want people to test it before they ship it. Surprisingly long analysis for a short trailer. I, I don't know how I managed to talk this long. Anyway, yeah, so that was the trailer analysis for the Black Ops 3 Zombies reveal. So until next time, uh, thanks for watching, take care and I'll catch you later.